Good morning, everyone. This is Daniel West with Dell and Darty, and I'm here with the Paper Crate card making kit for December 2018. I've already done an unboxing for this box. Um, you can check that video out in my list of um, videos that I've done. But I wanted to play with it today <clears throat> here live on YouTube. And um, I hope you'll join me and chat away as we play with um, this kit and create some of the cards that um, are already here um, given in the instructions. I want to follow the instructions because I want to show you how um, easy it is to actually use this kit and um, or to discover it myself. So uh, you guys uh, follow along with me and chat away. If you have any questions, I'm here to help answer them. So let's get started right away. Um, I'm going to take out what's in the box real quick, show you again what's in the box. First we have the instructions. And it looks like each of the cards that you can make um, come with um, the cardstock already cut and ready to go. The stamp sets, there's one from Paper Rose and there's one from... Um, I believe this is Crafter's Companion, yes. Also a full 6x6 six six paper pad of um, printed paper by um, Cartabella. Some cardstock that's pre-folded, pre-scored. Some more envelopes. Look at that mirror paper, that mirror cardstock. It's beautiful. Now I'm, I may follow the instructions for a couple of these and then make one um, just my own kind, my own design that we come up with right here. Say hello, everyone. Whoever's here listening or watching, I'd like to know who you are, if you don't mind. There's lots of embellishments in here. Three ink pads, mini ink pads, ink cubes. These little embellishments here. I don't want to miss anything like I did the other day. I missed the ink cube. <laughs> I missed the Festive Berries ink cube. All right, so I'm going to put the box over here to my right, and let's get started on a card. I think I want to. I think I want to start with this card right here with the bears and this um, red sweater. Looks like a red sweater embossing. So as I go through the instructions, um, let me get this card out. Here it is. This is easy to intermediate level. It says I will need black ink, which I have right here. I have Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink. I also have my Brutus Monroe Raven Detail Ink. Um, I have a paper trimmer and an adhesive tape runner. I have that. And for this kit, we're going to do embossed red Astro Bright cardstock. Let's find that little envelope. Here it is. It's already packed together in. Um, um, in a sleeve, which is great. I'm going to need the authentic pattern paper. Authentique pattern paper, which is this one right here. I'm going to need the bear stamp. Let's get him out. With love stamp, snow season set. I believe it's this one right here. Yes. With love. Let's see. I opened this and didn't put it back straight. <laughs> With love. There it is. Um, 
It's white cardstock. I believe that's in the envelope here. Tree stamp cozy winter set, which is this one. I'm going to need a gift box stamp, which is also from here. I think the one she used is this one. Nouveau crystal drops I have right here. 3D foam squares. I put those away because I wanted to use them. And I'm not sure exactly what I did with them. <laughs> Anyone else do that? Put things away to use them and then you don't know what you do with them. I will find them. Okay, I thought I put them in the box. All right, so then after that, I need uh, the Metal Snowflake Embellishment, which is one of the little envelopes. Here it is. And Broken China Distress Ink. There we go. So I've got everything together. I'm doing this all live because I want to show you guys how easy it is. Um, this seems to be a pretty straightforward project. So um, everything's kind of pre-cut for me, which is great. So I'm going to get my stamping block out. This comes in the kit. It's an acrylic stamping block. It's three by four and one and a half inches thick. Laser polished, rounded corners, beveled edges. Apple pie memories. I don't think you can ever have enough of these blocks. <laughs> nice, I like how that feels. Nice. Okay, so follow the instructions, it says, Step one, cut a strip from the authentic pattern paper, five and a quarter by two inches. So. so that's five and a quarter right there. And we'll do two inches right here. Adhere to the embossed red cardstock. Okay. I'm going to get my um, Brutus Monroe crafting glue out. I don't see it. Let's just do um, my tape. It came in the box, which is probably what I should have should have thought to grab anyway. So, just pop that on right there. I think I could do a better job of lining that up. Stamp the bear and sentiment is shown. Just grab my Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink here. Now I'm new to this ink, so I want I wanted to try it out because I hear so much um, good stuff about it. But it feels just like. For me, it feels just like the Raven ink from Brutus Monroe. Let's put that right there. And the sentiment, we'll put the sentiment here, which says, um, it says, can't read it very well. 
all the love, I think. Let's see. I'll just slap it on the back here, ink this up. Just uh, fair warning with the, the second stamp set, this one from Crafter's Companion, it is a silicone stamp set, so you don't want to push too hard because um, silicone doesn't, ha it's not as firm as others as the poly um, photopolymer stamps so you just really want to kiss the paper with it otherwise you'll smush it in and it will look um, splotchy right, so I have this one stamped and Use the Nouveau Crystal Drops to embellish the scarves and hat, as shown. Okay, so we're going to color it in, not with markers, but with Nouveau Drops. Okay. I've never done that before, but I can try it now. Let's see how this goes. Huh? Not bad, not, not hard. The Nouveau Drops come right out. Looks really good. So let's get the scarf colored in. Hey, Flo. How you doing? I'm coloring with Nouveau Drops for the first time. I mean, I've used Nouveau Drops, but I've never colored with them before. There we go. They have their color now. <laughs> well, th yeah, thanks, Flo. Was it making you nervous? I like to live on the edge when I craft. All right, so this needs to go up here and dry a bit. I'm doing well. I'm working on this, um, the paper craft card making kit. Stamp the tree. Gift box and snowflakes as shown. Use the Nouveau crystal drops to embellish the gift box. Okay, so let's get this one out. This is the tree. And I'm going to get this paper here. I like to rub my stamp before I ink it up. Get some. Helps the ink, I think, adhere to the stamp better. All right, so here's the tree. I've never made a card like this before, following directions. <laughs> I usually make my own designs, which I will inevitably do with all of these wonderful stamps. So then there are some snowflake stamps in here as well, which I'm going to use the broken china to stamp on. Thanks, Flo. I think these are great. This card kit comes from the Paper Crate, which is um, a new box that's just started coming out this year. And they sent this box to me to um, try it out. So I am. I'm having fun with this. I'm just basically um, doing exactly what she says to do here. So I think on the Winter Wonderland set there's another set of snowflakes that we should use yes there is
go off the edge of there for that one. There we go. All right, and then I need to do the gift box down here. took it out already. Let's get the black ink open. Get my new little drops out again. I don't know how forgiving this Nuvo, uh, these Nuvo drops are, but um, they are rather transparent, so I can see the the bow underneath them, and I got a little bit out of the lines. So let me see if I can just correct that a little bit with my tool here. Yeah, that comes right up. It's like glue. I'm going to put this up here with the other one to dry. And I think, oh, for the star, the snowflake embellishment, this little charm, goes right up the top. I just need to find out what I did with it. There it is. I'm a savage, I'm just going to tear this open. So this little charm goes right up here and I can, um, I can use some glue I have here to Hear it down. There we go. Now to put these all together, she has that there and this here. I see she has foam tape underneath this one, which I misplaced, unfortunately. So I'm going to grab my foam tape. And just uh, pop it up with my own. this down here and this here if you notice what I did I accidentally touched the wet new drops but I have a mono sand eraser that may save the day <laughs> And if it doesn't, then we will just use some uh, Copic markers and fix that. 
We'll just add some uh, pink shading to the bears. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna. It's not gonna. Fit. So let's go in with some Copics. This is R20, and we're just gonna add a little bit of shading to the bear. <laughs> Just some very simple shading here. There we go. <laughs> um, I do have one bottle of those jewel drops flow. So this is um, just the front panel of the card. I think I'm just a little bit cattywampus here. If you don't know what cattywampus is, you're going to have to go to the dictionary, the Southerner's Dictionary, and um, figure that one out. But uh, yeah, I stamped this um, horizontally instead of vertically, which is fine with me. It still looks wonderful. <laughs> okay, it's a really cute little card with um, the different elements on it. I'm gonna get a card base that comes with the kit. And I'm gonna fold that down. It, the kit also comes with this bone folder, which is great, especially if you don't have a good one. This is, um, it's the DeReese one. Just uh, pop this right on there like that. I'm gonna add some foam tape here. Not foam tape. Some um, adhesive roll. Now, if that ever happens to you, you just run your finger over it, and the glue comes right up. <laughs> Well, it should. Anyway. I went off the edge. Okay. I think this is great for, um, Especially if you're a beginning card maker and you don't know how to put a card together uh, by yourself, this um, card kit would be tremendous help. Um, so look at all of the little dimensions on here. I've never put a card together like this. So, um, and I personally, this is not my style of cards at all. So um, everyone who knows my card style is much different than this. But it's not to say this is not a beautiful card. So if someone sent this to me in the mail, I would be totally impressed. Because um, the design is actually very nice. It's very well put together. Um, not because I put it together. I didn't. I just, I mean, I put the pieces together. But um, the paper crate designed this card, and I just threw it together So uh, using their kit. So, yes, I think it's a great little card kit. And... Um, I think you could make a bunch of, if you, if you had the embossing folder for this, which I believe is available somewhere, I would look it up and I'll put the um, link in my bio, um, because I don't think this kit's available anymore. If it is, um, and you want to buy this kit, there may be a few left. You can use my discount code to subscribe for next month's and maybe get this month's at a, as a one-off. Um, if you purchase it today, you get 10% off. Just use my discount code, code DA10. That's for Dell and RD10. And you'll get 10% off your purchase today there at uh, the Paper Crate. So, uh, Flo, what else comes in the kit? Let's show you what else comes in the kit. 
Um, it, it comes with this broken China ink cube, a tape runner, the Nuvo drops. This one is, uh, these are the crystal drops. Um, it's red berry. It comes with um, three of these, four of these card bases already pre-scored. They feel like 110 pounds. Um, they come with instructions for different cards that you can make. It comes with a, a set of stamps, two sets of stamps actually, full sets. One is the Paper Rose stamp set and the other one is this one by Crafter's Companion called uh, Snow Season. This is a photopolymer stamp set. This is a, a silicone stamp set. Um, it comes with these uh, pre-packed envelopes with the, your card kit um, that uh, come along with your card kit instructions. Some mirror card stock, which is beautiful. This one is a beautiful setup. I can't wait to make this card. And it comes with a 6 by 6 paper uh, pad from Cartabella. Here's the uh, Festive Berries ink pad. It comes with a Kaiser Craft ink pad. Some more embellishments. It comes with the bone folder. And uh, there may be something else if I'm not mistaking. Mistaken. Um, Baker's Twine came with Baker's Twine. It came with these embellishments as well. Um, Astro Bright cardstock in red, plaid paper, rhinestones. Oh, 3D foam squares, a whole sheet of those. Micro pearls. It's just a, it's chock full of stuff, and I can't believe it's only $30. So if you purchase the kit, you get all of this for $30, plus these envelopes. You know, the envelopes come with your, your card um, and those little cellophane envelopes. So uh, I think it's a card kit that's totally worth, worth 30 bucks. If not, I'd say probably worth 75 bucks, but it's, it comes with a lot of stuff. So it's a pretty good kit. So let me, I'll give you the link here, thepapercrate.com. And my discount code is DA10. Just, um, this is not an affiliate link or anything. But if you purchase using my code, they'll know where um, your purchase came from, that I sent them to, to them, sent you to them. So I think that'd be great. They know where um, where their business is coming from. So that's good. And I'm doing this because they sent this box to me, and I'm so excited to get to play with it and uh, also support someone from my home state, Missouri. That's where they are. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching this card. Stay tuned if you want to join me for the next round. I'm going to make a card with um, my own design using the same elements um, provided in the card kit. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, would you hit that subscribe button below and let me know if you use any of the links that I share in the description box to make a purchase. Let me know and I will send you a kit, uh, not a kit, a thank you card from Del and Darty. It's an original. So let me know. Just send me an email message with your address to Del and Darty at gmail.com. That's dellandarty at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.